Hey guys, what is going on? Bigfoot here, bringing you guys another YouTube video. Today what I got for you guys is a video talking about something that a lot of people have been asking me about lately, um, very lately, because it's it's kind of something that just came out, and you guys have seen like videos of other YouTubers talking about it and stuff. Uh, so people kind of want my take on it, and I figured I would give it to you. So what I'm talking about is reverse boosting. Uh, basically, Michael Conjure, or however you say his name, uh, he said on Twitter that they were going to start banning reverse boosters. Uh, people that reverse boosted, they were going to start banning their accounts. And... As I do reverse boost, a lot of you guys know, um, basically every YouTuber, I'm, I'm just going to get into this, basically every YouTuber that you know that posts like DNA bombs daily, actually every YouTuber that posts a DNA bomb like daily, every streamer that you watch that gets DNA bombs left and right, they reverse boost. It's not nothing, like it's nothing bad, everybody does it, and it's just something that like people have to accept. accept. Um, as long as there's skill based matchmaking in the game, this is going to happen. And I kind of want this video. I probably will tweet this video to Michael Condry, to be honest with you. I kind of want him to watch this video, because I'm just going to let you know. As long as skill-based matchmaking is in the game, for those of you guys that don't know what skill-based matchmaking is, normally, in every COD, like, it's connection-based. When you search for a game, you know, you're going to find Jimmy down the road, and, like, jo uh, like, like, fucking Bob that lives, like, across the street, and, like, fucking their cousin that lives, like, halfway down the road, or, or whatever the fuck. In this game, you're going to find people that have relative stats to you. So if you're a player like me... Um, I think on my main account I have like a 3.5 KD. Um, there's not very many people that play Call of Duty that have a 3.5 KD. So I'm sitting here playing kids from Mexico, kids from fucking Spain, kids from fucking Antarctica, whatever the fuck. And my connection is fucking awful. And I'm running around with a 2 bar and when I shoot people, I'm shooting fucking pellets at them. And it does fucking nothing. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Um, so that's what skill based matchmaking is. You're going to find people with relative stats to you. So basically what YouTubers do... What I'm doing right now, as you can probably tell, these kids are fucking retards, is my stats fucking suck. So the kids that I'm playing, as you can probably see, based off of what I just did to these kids, they fucking suck. Um, that's just kind of how it goes. And he thinks that they're going to they're gonna spend all this time, all this money, whatever they have. You know, maybe they have a system that looks for reverse boosters that they paid money to make or to have someone make and it goes through and bans reverse boosters maybe they have a dude that they hired or 10 dudes that they hired or I don't know how they do it however they're banning reverse boosters they're either one wasting time two wasting money and this is why when you have a dude like me and I can speak for me and a lot of my other friends um, this is what they do okay like uh, I can't there's no possible way that me as a as a, a streamer as a youtuber as whatever I'm not going to get near as many views, near as good gameplay. The game's going to be way less fun to play, way less everything. It's The game sucks dick, dude. If you play this game on a 3.5 KD, the game fucking sucks. Okay? If you sit here and ban my accounts, like, the thing that you don't, like, realize, right? Which maybe you do realize. I can have a new account made instantly. So, like, yeah, you may ban my account. You may reset my account. You may whatever my account. But at the end of the day, it's not going to affect me. You're wasting your time, money, uh, and money. If you if you sit here and ban like me and my friends' accounts, like any YouTuber, really, you're literally wasting your time and money, dude. Because we're gonna have a new account made in three seconds. As long as skill-based matchmaking's in this game, I'm gonna sit here and play thumbless kids because that's what I like to do. That's how I have fun in COD. I want to find the worst kids possible and I want to put my dick between their ass cheeks. That's my goal when I play Call of Duty. Okay, so like you're making that easier for me to do, and like it, it's your fault it's it's not my fault like people are going to come in my video and say yo you reverse boost like oh wow I'm, I'm bad um yo you reverse boost you're a piece of shit cheater blah 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 everyone does it man it's not my fault that sledgehammer added this shit to the game they had it in black ops 2 in the beginning of black ops 2 when it came out what they do they removed that shit because it's fucking stupid nobody wants skill baits mass making there's a reason that there's something called ranked play if you want to play someone of your skill level you play ranked play um, even people like Scumpy, uh, T. Martin, everybody has made videos saying that skill-based matchmaking is stupid and they should remove it or they should change the system of how it works or something. Because, dude, like, me being able to make an account like this and just play kids with, like, .10 KDs is not very fair. Like, I could imagine if I had a .10 KD and I joined a lobby where everybody sucked, but this one kid that I played got, like, three DNAs like every other game, I probably would be like, holy fuck, this kid hacks or, or something. Um, but at the same time, when I'm playing on a 3KD, I don't want to be sitting there with fucking sweat dripping off the tip of my dick every fucking game because I'm playing against, like, Optic Scump, like, on 12 different accounts every time I click search for a match. It's fucking retarded, dude. 
Nobody wants skill based matchmaking, like remove it from the game and then you know then you won't have the issue. You won't have to hire guys to come and ban our accounts. Because at the end of the day, like I said, it's not gonna make you any progress. Uh, people are just gonna get new accounts made. Um, you can't really ban an account. It's not like you can sit here and ban my account, you know, as soon as it's made or anything like that. So as long as you can't do that, man, like I don't know, I'm gonna have an account. Um, but basically, that's my thoughts on it. Like, they say they're going to ban reverse boosters to try to get rid of it. It's not going to be red, getting rid of. Um, as long as skill-based matchmaking's in the game, you better believe that there's going to be reverse boosting. Because the game is just, it, it's unplayable, man, if you have a high KD in this game. And people watching this video, if you're good at Call of Duty, you know what I'm talking about. And you know that the game fucking sucks if you have, like, a even, like, a 2 KD. game is fucking awful, dude. Um, I would say the majority of you would agree that... You had a high KD on other CODs, like, you know, maybe in Ghost you had like a 4 KD, maybe in Black Ops 2 you had like a 3.7 or something like that. But in this game, I guarantee you, the majority of you, like, in the comment section, yes or no, is your KD lower in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare than any other COD? I guarantee you most of you say yes, and the reason why that is, is because as you get your KD up, like, say you get to like a 1.7, you're like, man, I really want to get this 2.0. In other CODs, yeah, you could probably do that. In this game, once you get to like the 1.7 and you're like trying to push for that too, you're just going to be sitting there playing better and better kids every game that your KD goes up. So, it, it, I don't know, man. It's actually like, it's ridiculous. I understand that like, it it sounds like a good idea, but it's just not a good idea. Like, it, it, it literally, it's just not a good idea. So, you can try, man. You can try to ban out all these reverse boosters. You might get rid of some of them. Um, you know, maybe like the random people that watch my YouTube videos, they're like, hey, I'm going to reverse boost like Big Fultz does. Um, yeah, you might get rid of them kids, but you're not going to get rid of me. You're not going to get rid of, of the big YouTubers, big streamers, big whatever that, that do this. You're not going to get rid of them. Uh, they're just getting new accounts made in an instance, and you're just going to waste your time. So, um, my recommendation, man, honestly, like, y you've heard it said from even people that are competitive players. Scumpy literally made a video saying they should remove skill-based matchmaking. I'm making a video saying they should remove skill-based matchmaking. If you're like some kind of community like director or what, I don't even know what your position is at Sledgehammer. Um, but if you have people like this who have played COD way longer than you, and I would assume, uh, like I would say probably plays a lot more than you, um, probably better than you at the game as well. Uh, you should probably take the advice of what they say to you and, you know, just, just do it, man. It's, it's really not that hard. Make it like every other COD where I can play the game on a, a good connection. That's really what I want to find is a good connection lobby. Um, and you know, I'm pretty happy with myself. Um, but yeah, basically remove skill based matchmaking, man. I literally refuse to play on a two bar connection every game. Um, so yeah, best of luck to you with banning reverse boosters. Um, I'll be sitting here playing retards until you remove it from the game though. So that's basically my opinions on reverse boosting, them banning reverse boosters and whatever. Um, it's not going to happen. People that like are my friends, people that are YouTubers, you know, as soon as you ban their account, they're just going to have another new one. Um, however they get it, you know. Me, myself, I can just have someone make me an account. Um, if not, there's always, like, viewers that, you know, I have people that'll be like, yo, I'll go die for you for, like, 10k times, no problem. Like, it's easy for me to get accounts, man. So if you're going to ban them, it's, it's no big deal. Um, but hopefully you guys uh, did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section if you did. Um, be sure to leave a like, a subscribe if you guys are new, and let me know what you guys think about this. Like, do you guys think... On it, like honestly, do you guys think skill-based matchmaking should be in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Yes or no? Because I really like I've seen a few people try to argue that maybe it should be, um, but honestly, I would say it's like 95% of people say no. So I'm gonna try to send this video over to Michael Condry. Like I said, hopefully he will listen to it. Hopefully he will take my advice, and yeah, maybe he'll see your guys' comments saying that you guys think it should be removed. So thank you guys for watching the video. Like I said, be sure to leave a like, um, subscribe if you guys are new, and uh, thanks for watching, dudes. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.